going to talk to you today about a new study that looks at the risk of maternal caffeine consumption during pregnancy with regard to the risk of childhood obesity. So there was a study just recently published in the British Medical Journal looking at a large group of women in Norway, about 50,000 women studied over about six years, and they assessed the amount of caffeine that moms were ingesting at about 22 weeks and then followed their pregnancies and then their babies and ultimately their kids out to um, eight years of life. Well, first off, they looked at different levels of caffeine intake and they basically classified them as low, medium, or high and compared them to people who consumed no caffeine. And low caffeine intake was the equivalent of about one cup of coffee a day or one uh, soda a day. Medium would have been about two uh, or three cups, and then high will be more than that. So 50 milligrams, and then about 50 to 100, uh, 200, and then over 200. The, uh, the big results from this were that at um, three years and five years, there was an increased risk of childhood obesity, any of the different levels of intake, and it persisted out to eight years in the group who had a high amount of caffeine intake. You know, I've generally told my patients that I think about one, one serving of caffeinated drinks per day, whether that's a small Coke or a small cup of coffee, is probably fine. There's never been any proven association with any type of birth defects or adverse pregnancy outcomes. That's still true. Uh, however, now there is some information that would indicate might be a little bit of an increased risk of childhood obesity particularly in the high levels of intake. You know, I would just keep that information in mind. Uh, probably minimizing your caffeine intake during pregnancy is a good idea if you want to reduce the risk of childhood obesity in your kiddos. So something just to keep in mind, there's your little Facebook Friday tidbit.